Okay, this is uh, my computer won't respond, and I've lost all control of it using the mouse and keyboard. Because other otherwise, if you you know still have control of it, there's no point in in this video. But this video could help you in case you haven't been able to fix it. So the first thing you want to do is hit Control Alt Delete and get to the Task Manager. In the Task Manager, you can fix things. If you if you still have keyboard, then you can hit Control Alt Delete. Your mouse may not be working, but you can still hit Control Alt Delete and get to the Task Manager. So I'm going to show you what the Task Manager looks like. Here's what it looks like, and if I hit Control Alt Delete, I'm doing that right now. This is the screen that pops up. You can uh, lock this computer switch user, log off. So if you want to shut the computer down, you can log off, change the password, or go to Task Manager. Over in the corner over here, you can hit this button up and restart sleep or shut down. If you just want to shut it down, you can shut it down this way and it'll be much better than pulling the plug of the computer because the window windows will shut it down for you. So I'm going to cancel this and we're going to go back to the task manager. Let's say you can open up this screen and this is where you want to be. There's applications, processes, services. Look at all these things that are running. Performance, this shows what the CPU is currently doing, has been doing, networking, and users. So we're going to go to processes. Um, this is showing uh, via uh, uh, Corel Video Studio is running, right? And if I wanted to shut it down, or Windows Word is running, because I'm showing you that, I can right-click on this, and I can end the process tree. Or I can, yeah end the process tree. If I do that, it'll shut down that program. That program will stop running if I have control of it. And so you take the last program you were running, let's say it's your internet browser, and you've lost all control of your internet browser. And let's say you're running Chrome or something like that. You double-click on Chrome, right-click on Chrome, and then end the process, and it'll shut Chrome down. And you'll go back to being all good. You'll be back in control of your computer. So this is what you can do if you're locked up and you can get to Task Manager. Let's say you're so locked up that you can't get to Task Manager to shut down your computer. Then all that's left for you is to hold the power button in. And if you hold it in for an extended period of time, like 10 seconds, your computer will shut down. Once you open it back up again, you may get a screen that allows you to um, go through Windows Repair procedure in which case you know r windows may have been damaged a little bit by the um, shutdown and it and I would go through the repair procedure and wait the time and let it fix whatever little things are wrong with it the other thing you can do is if things get really uh, screwed up is that uh, you could try saving all of the documents that you've written lately uh, to a thumb drive or something like that and then you can go into um, opening your programs and go to accessories and then system tools right system tools and then um, system restore and when you go to restore you're gonna take your computer back to a previous time back before it had something really wrong with it that you've created and so um, you're gonna lose whatever anything you've downloaded you know if you went back a week earlier maybe you downloaded a couple programs well they're not going to be there anymore if you do the system restore but at least you'll get back to the point where your computer's running like it should so that's useful then let's get down to phase two you know my computer has viruses and is very slow and locks up on me so this is where you want to get into malware bytes and um, so here's a picture of what malware bytes looks like. This is a free download. You download malware bytes and you run it. And it goes through and finds all of the malware and viruses on your computer. And then you click, you know, select all and get rid of all of them, quarantine them. So when you have um a system where you have viruses or your, you know, if you notice that your uh, computer's getting slow, there's then always run malware bytes first. I don't run antiviruses and firewalls on my computers because it slows down the computer. When you go into uh, Control-Alt-Delete and you run your task manager, the task manager will show you how much of 
uh, you know, it's like here malware bytes is using 205,000 while it's running. And according to how much it's being used, that's how much it's slowing your computer down. Now if you're not using it and it's and it's using 20 or 30,000, but you're not using it and that's every day of your life <laughs> it's using it, why do that? You know, why have it running? So you you want to make sure that your system is running good and and getting rid of um malware with malware bytes is a good way to go. I just reopen it and start it once a month or whatever and then I don't have it running. Then it comes to speeding up your computer. If you want your computer to run fast, in order to run fast it has to be free of all the excess garbage. So when you go in here and you type in services and you go up and you look at this little uh, wheel here and you click services on then you're going to get down here in the same thing right and this is the services that are running all of these things are running and they're either they're either I have them selected to manually run or they're disabled or they're automatically running so background intelligence service if we click on it 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 tells you in the corner over here it transfers files in the background and it's running automatically. Do I need it? I don't know. I don't have to go on the internet. If you go on the internet and you type in background intelligence, it'll tell you whether that has any real use or whether it's just kind of like something that some company thinks is nice to help. You can get rid of. Now if I go, go in here into the start menu and hit MS config MS CON FIG and I go up here and I open it up in in a fig on on um, boot it's running windows 7 and on services you've got all of these running of course right but the interesting thing is startup startup shows you all these programs <laughs> this thing just put itself on my computer so i'm going to uncheck it and apply and that's going to get rid of this itty bitty knock knock center or whatever it is and then i'll go into um into um, hit the start and then to control panel and then uninstall a program and then you know go looking for the uh, itty bitty knock program and then uninstall it I don't see it here but it's probably here somewhere but I'll show but you know that's what you do programs that you don't need just uninstall them you know get rid of them you don't need them get rid of them so if you want your computer to be running fast, that's what you do. You get rid of all the programs that are running in the background, like Raptor here, which is AMD's recorder for recording video games. I don't want to run it all the time. When I want to record a game, I'll open up the Raptor program and record. Same with NVIDIA's Shadowplay. I'll open it up when I want it. They want you to have it running all the time. And if it's running all the time, it's slowing my computer down. No, thank you. Anyway, hope this has been helpful, and um, and you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.